Hello all, welcome to Let's Learn Optometry. In this video, we will see about the anatomy of retina. The innermost neural layer of the eye is called the retina. It is a site of transformation of light energy into neural signal. It is located between the choroid and the vitreous. It has 10 layers. I personally remember the order by RPE, O square, I square and GNI. R for retinal pigment epithelium, P for photoreceptors layer, E for external limiting membrane. Then comes the O square. One O is for outer nuclear layer and the other O is for outer plexiform layer. In the alphabets, N comes before P. So, nuclear layer comes before the plexiform layer. Then I square, inner nuclear and inner plexiform layer. G for ganglionic cell layer, N nerve fiber layer and I internal limiting membrane. Before learning the layers of the retina, we will see the basic structure of a nerve cell. Imagine the nerve cell as a human body. The head is the axon, the central trunk is the nucleus, the legs are the dendrites. Each leg connects with the head of another neuron, where the nerve impulse are passed from one neuron to another neuron by means of chemical reactions. It is called as neurotransmission. The place where an axon and a dendrite meet is called a synapse. This is a nerve cell. Here, the axons of nerve cell 1, which is shown in blue, gets connected with the dendrite of a nerve cell 2, which is shown in green, and the junction is called the synapse. The retina is derived from the neural ectoderm. The outer pigmented layer is derived from the outer layer of the optic cup, and the remaining 9 layers of the retina are derived from the inner layers of the optic cup. So, the term retina means all the 10 layers, but when we mention as neurosensory retina, it means all the 9 layers excluding the retinal pigment epithelium. The neurosensory retina contains 3 classes of cells, neurons, glial cells and the vascular cells. The neurons contains photoreceptors, bipolar cells, ganglion cells, amacrine cells and horizontal cells. The glial cells contains Muller cells, microglial cells and astrocytes. The vascular includes endothelial cells and pericytes. Each cell has its own role. There are two pathways in the retina, vertical and horizontal. In the vertical pathway, the nerve impulses are taken in a vertical pathway that is away from the eye to the visual cortex. The photoreceptors, bipolar cells and ganglion cells are involved in the vertical pathway. Horizontal pathway. Here, the cells conduct impulse from one area of the retina to the another area. The cells modify and integrate the signals here. Amacrine and horizontal cells are involved in the horizontal pathway. Photoreceptors. Rods and cones together called as photoreceptors. They convert light energy into neural signals. It is the site at which the phototransduction occurs. Rods. There are 100 to 125 million rods and they are responsible for the monochromatic vision. Cones. There are 6 to 7 million cones and they are responsible for the color vision. There are three types of cones, short wavelength, medium wavelength and long wavelength cones. Now we will see the basic structure of rods and cones. First comes the outer segment. It is rod shaped in rods and cone shaped in cones. It contains disc which contains the visual pigment, which helps in the process of phototransduction. After a disc phototransduction ability is spent, it is shed by the rods and cones and metabolized by the adjacent RPE cells. The outer segment of the photoreceptors and the RPE involves no connections between them. It is due to their embryological difference as we have seen previously. So potential space exists between the rods and cones and the RPE and the separation of RPE from the 9 layers is called as retinal detachment. Inner segment. The inner and outer segment is connected by the cilium. It has two subsections, ellipsoid and the myoid. Ellipsoid contains mitochondria and the myoid contains glycogen. Then comes the cell body which contains the cell nucleus. The final portion is the axon like fibers terminating in the photoreceptor synaptic processes. It is called as spherule in rods and pedicle in cones. The axons of the photoreceptors connects with the dendrites of the bipolar cells. Bipolar cells 13 types of bipolar cells have been identified. 
they are responsible for the chromatic composition polarity and contrast sensitivity the axons of the bipolar cells connects with the dendrites of the ganglion cell and the dendrites of the bipolar cells connect with the axons of the photoreceptors ganglion cells they are responsible for image formation circadian rhythm and the regulation of pupil size 20 types of ganglion cells have been identified the dendrites of the ganglion cells connects with the axons of the bipolar cells and the axons of the ganglion cell joins together and forms the optic nerve horizontal and amacrine cells or interneurons connecting the neural elements horizontal cells they connect photoreceptors with one another there are three types of horizontal cells they are responsible for polarity spectral sensitivity speed and it helps the eyes to adjust the bright and dim environment amacrine cells connect ganglion with the bipolar cells there are 42 different types of amacrine cells have been identified muller cells these are large cells they extend the breadth of the neurosensory retina they provide structural support neuron survival and homeostasis of the ionic environment the apex of the cell lies in the photoreceptor layers and the base forms the internal limbic membrane cochlea these are phagocytic cells they found anywhere in the retina the number increase in injury and inflammation astrocytes these are star shaped cells they are, they are found in the nerve fiber layer and the ganglion cell layer it forms an irregular supportive network that encircles the nerve fibers and retinal capillaries vascular cells the endothelial cells comprise the inner lining of the vessels while the pericytes encompass blood microvessels now we will see the individual layers retinal pigment epithelium it is the outermost layer which is close to the choroid we have a separate video in our channel on rpe please don't forget to watch that photoreceptor layer it contains the outer segments of rods and cones external limiting membrane is located at the junction of inner and outer segment of rods and cones it is not an actual membrane rather it is a barrier created by the connections the outer nuclear layer contains the cell bodies of rods and cones outer plexiform layer here the dendrites of bipolar cell connects with the axons of photoreceptors it has connections from other cells also inner nuclear layer it contains the cell bodies of bipolar and amacrine cells inner plexiform layer here the dendrites of ganglion cells synapse with the bipolar cells axons this layer has connections from amacrine cells also ganglionic cell layer it contains the cell bodies of ganglion cells fiber layer the axons of ganglion cell joins together and exit the eye as optic nerve internal limiting membrane it is formed by the food process of muller cells it is the boundary between the vitreous and retina itself remember the outer nuclear inner nuclear and the ganglionic cell layer contains the cell nucleus outer plexiform inner plexiform and the nerve fiber layer contains nerve fibers axons and dendrites supply the outer five layers are supplied by the chorea capillaries and the inner five layers are supplied by the central retinal artery thanks for watching subscribe to lexlon optometry for more optometry